hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to fix if your game keeps crashing freezing or even restarting because of the easy anti-cheat don't worry because we will walk you through some proven fixes step by step let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to check the system stability if your pc restarts while launching a game it could be due to overheating or unstable hardware settings make sure your cpu and gpu temps are normal and if you are using overclocking try reverting back to default settings all right and then now there are two methods that actually works when you're trying to fix the easy anti-cheat not opening when you're trying to play your favorite games number one is if you are using the epic games launcher i want you to go to the game that you wanted go to the library right click on it and click the verify that's one way you should be able to see a three dots icon on the game that you wanted try to click the verify and that should be able to fix that simple issue now if you are using steam for your specific game i want you to go to the general settings and then go to the installed files from here, there is an option that says verify this game's files are installed correctly. You just have to click the verify integrity of the game files. And what will happen is it will update on its own. Most of the time, it will fix any problem in loading the easy anti-cheat setup. Another option that you can do is go to the installed files. I want you to click the browse because that would forward you to the, the Steam apps. I want you to click on that folder. And then I want you to click the common. Go to the games. For example, you're having problems with the easy anti-cheat on Rust. I want you to click on it. Click the easy anti-cheat folder. There should be a file or an application that says easy anti-cheat underscore setup. It is an executable file. I want you to right click on it. And there should be a, an option that says repair as service. What will happen is this will fix any missing or corrupted easy anti-cheat files all right so that's one of the easiest way after doing that you need to restart your pc and click the run as administrator okay and then another option that you can do is now while at it i want you to right click again on it and there should be an option that says properties and then go to the compatibility section and then you need to click the run compatibility troubleshooter all right because as you may notice if this program isn't working correctly on the version of windows try running the compatibility troubleshooter to see if that works now i want you to pay attention because you need to click this section right here that says run this program in compatibility mode for all these windows you have windows 8 until 10 or 11 and, and then you have the ability to run this as administrator you want to make sure to check that option or check that option and click the apply and okay another option that you can do is go to the services on your windows right and as you may notice you have the services here i want you to look for the epic games or epic online services you need to do the same thing that we have done earlier right click on it go to the properties and you want to make sure on the startup you click the automatic delayed startup or automatic all right and then click the service starts click the apply and click on ok by updating your windows and drivers now if you are using nvidia you might want to go to the nvidia g experience and if you are using amd you might want to go to the amd adrenaline make sure both your graphics drivers are fully updated because outdated system files or gpu drivers can conflict with eac and cause the integrity violation error and that's also similar to the uh, windows you might want to go to the systems or settings and then there should be an option that says update in security and click the windows update similar to the gpu drivers make sure your windows updates are fully up to date all right of course, you can also try uninstalling and reinstalling the easy anti-cheat itself by going to the official website. And there's also an option here, as you may notice, that if you have any concerns about EAC, you can read through the support articles covering the most question and answers, all right? And of course, you might get some 
answers and troubleshootings tips from here and basically that's it for today's video now these tips usually fix the easy anti-cheat crashing freezing or restarting pc again if the problem still continues i recommend reaching out to the official easy anti-cheat support for more advanced troubleshooting and if this video helped you out do not forget to hit the like button subscribe for more quick guides and drop a comment if you have any questions because we we'll love to hear from you thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video